So my name is Fegan Murray. Um, I'm the mother of Martin Het. Uh, Martin was one of 22 people who very sadly lost their life at the Manchester Arena attack in uh, May 2017, the year when so many attacks happened in the UK. Um, and ever since then, very sadly, I lost my job the same day. Um, as a psychotherapist, I was running my own business. Um, but I realised that day that I will no longer be able to offer therapy to other people, so I had to unfortunately close my business. Um, but I have been ever since then working in counter-terrorism and security and trying to change the legislation and educate young people about the dangers of online radicalisation. Yeah, so it was a Monday, I remember it very well. Um, I'd been working all day. Um, in my private practice. So we lived in a big Victorian house and in the basement I had my therapy room. And that day I had a couple of complicated clients and I wasn't ill but I, was, I felt a bit under the weather so I decided to go to bed early and catch up with some sleep. And I saw Martin the day before, that's the last time I saw him actually, um, because he was getting ready for a trip to America that he was setting off on that week on Wednesday the 24th. Um, and he rang me early morning Sunday and said, oh, Mum, would you mind taking me to a supermarket so I buy cat litter and cat food for two months while I'm in America so that Hannah, my flatmate, can have less hassle. And I said, of course I will. So I took him to a supermarket and then we, we chatted and chatted about America and how excited he was. And then I took him home we went upstairs to his flat to dump everything, gave him a big hug and I said, I'll see you Wednesday at 11 because I was meant to take him to the airport. So anyway, the following morning I uh, started work, worked all day. And at 10 o'clock that evening, I said to my husband, I'm going to go to bed. And probably about quarter to 11, about 10 minutes after the attack, I um, woke up because I felt somebody is in the room and it was my 19 year old daughter with my mobile phone in her hand. And I got a bit irritated, to be honest. And I said, what are you doing with my phone? And I was also cross that she woke me up. Um, and she said, mom, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to wake you up, but I needed to just check if Martin tried to ring you. By that time I sat up in bed, I was awake, wide awake. And I said, why would he ring me? Is he not at home getting ready for his trip? And she said, no, mom, they've, they've gone out for the evening. Him and his friends have gone to a concert at the arena and I said concert on a Monday night and she said yeah yeah it's the Ariana Grande concert and I said who's that so we had a bit of a conversation about that and I said so what happened and she said uh, she looked at me and was really uncomfortable and she said mum reluctantly she said there's been an explosion and she hadn't finished the word explosion I sort of jumped out of it, ran past her behind from behind her, more or less flew down the stairs. And my husband was just stood by the TV trying to come to bed, but watching the news flash with people screaming and running. And I pointed at the TV and I said, Martin's there. His mates are out. They can't find him. I hope he's okay. He's not answering his phone. Obviously, we were watching the news and probably about quarter past 17 minutes past 11, three quarters of an hour later, I suddenly touched my tummy and I went, oh, and my daughter Louise said, what? And I said, feels really odd here. It's, it's, I can't feel him anymore. It's like somebody's just literally cut the connection with a pair of scissors. It's, it's gone. I, I, there's just nothingness. I have no sense of him. In fact, it feels like he's not even on the planet anymore. It's strange. And I looked at her and I said, he's dead. 